Welcome to the presentation Capacity Building Wikiversity for Risk Management and Application on Space Technology and Health. In this presentation we will focus on an open development environment for content for risk mitigation in Wikiversity and we look also on the educational levels. So what is Wikiversity? Wikiversity is the Wikimedia Foundation project devoted to learning resources, learning projects and research for use in all level, levels, types and styles of education from preschool to university, including professional training and formal training. Wikiversity invites teachers, students and researchers to join the Wikiversity community in creating open educational content and collaborative learning environment. Action Team 6 follow-up initiative is based on an open community approach and this uh, philosophy of Wikiversity to support that concept. First of all, the open content in Wikiversity allows access to knowledge for everyone without any restriction. If we look on the content development side, the open development just needs the additional workload to improve the existing content. The structure of Wikiversity is starting from a school level, the subdivisions are departments, and this is subdivided by topics. A school could be a representative of a real school, a university, or an, an environment for non-formal training, for example, for farm workers. In our case, uh, I had created a school for risk management with example of subdepartments, spatial risk management and risk literacy. Examples for topics are uh, spatial decision support systems to support spatial risk management or spatial epidemiology. If we look on educational levels, preschool, primary education, secondary education and non-formal education are primarily meant for risk literacy. Tertiary education uh, is meant to be a, a university education, bachelor, master and PhD. The research portal contains recent research results that uh, support risk mitigation and risk mitigation knowledge. The learning environment is organized around case studies as learning content and entry point into theoretical considerations of the topic. Application on a certain disease, for example chronic kidney disease, uh, starting from a case study, learn theoretical content and apply it back to the case study. Case studies as an entry point into the knowledge, guiding theoretical uh, consideration and bringing back the knowledge back to the case. With Wikiversity, we got an open learning environment where contributors could develop a curriculum and develop content and courses. In our case, the risk mitigation in the health domain, uh, the content is arranged around case studies that are guiding the learning processes. As the starting point, learners perform an analysis of uh, existing case studies and derive a theoretical approach from it. Furthermore, students can bring their own case studies from the country of origin and document this case study. During the learning process, the documented case study will be quality assured and will be accompanied by a theoretical and methodological approach. The learned knowledge can be applied back to that case study what the students brought with him or with her and then create a benefit for, for that pilot region or pilot community where the base case study is located. Finally, the thesis of a university degree like bachelor, master or PhD thesis could contribute to risk mitigation. Finally, some conclusions. The pro for Wikiversity, because it's a very open uh, con uh, environment for content development and curriculum development, but it doesn't have a um, test environment. It has to be established outside with this uh, a con for that uh, Wikiversity approach. But so the Wikiversity environment or Wikipedia environment is uh, widely known and the infrastructure for editing is widely known and so uh, the versioning and editing 
uh, might be widely common to the users to create new content, add more content, or um, revise the existing content in Wikiversity. One option to deal with the cons is that we use Wikiversity as a content development environment and then if we have this as a repository we extract the content into um, other learning management system for further use. Thank you for listening uh, and open for questions.